Wow, Nintendo, when you announced the Nintendo Switch Online expansion, you know, I was all in. Nintendo 64 Online, they even got Sonic on Nintendo? How kooky is that? To find out that the expansion would be 50 bucks with the inclusion of paid single player expansion for Nintendo Switch Online expansion. Wow, what a good deal. An expansion for a game that I had to buy full price included with an online expansion that for some reason promotes the single player expansion. What a great deal. I mean, $50 a year, that's only $4 a month. Not like the option to pay for the service monthly even exists anymore. And wow, would you look at that? $4 a month was the price of the original Nintendo Switch Online. Huh. You know, I guess that just goes to show you how much of a deal this really is. But wait, because Nintendo is so consumer friendly, there's actually a way to save money on subscribing to $50 Nintendo Switch Online if you're already paying over $20 a year to play laggy Super Smash Bros. If it's the same conversion from an individual membership to a family membership, that's five whole cents a day. So wow, if they give us the same option to go to the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack, you can get $9 off if you have over half a year of the original Nintendo Switch Online service left. What a bargain! You're literally losing money. What a bargain! Oh, 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 and it is so worth it to pay $50 right now at this moment because I know that there's gonna be a steady nice rollout of content for Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack like the original Nintendo Switch Online. I mean you had Tetris 99 for a whole month. Oh oh and even Jelly Boy so I know they'll add so much content to this like randomly adding the DLC for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 like six months down the line. I'm sure my name's Rex. I could see that and that makes it totally worth it to pay $50 right now for the content that might be a part of the service in the future other than expansion for one game. Oh, oh, and you wanna know the other great thing? DLC on the Nintendo Switch like in Super Smash Brothers transfers between accounts. So paying $80 for the family pack, if you have four members of your family, that's like each Nintendo Switch account getting the New Horizons DLC for $20. What a steal. Even though if one account just bought the DLC, I'm sure it would transfer between accounts, but what a steal! Wow! It was also leaked that apparently the high price, I mean the totally reasonable and fair price, was because the licensing for Sega Genesis. Oh, I'm so happy, Nintendo! Even though you can get Genesis collections for like every platform for less than 30 bucks, but rent it here for $50 a year? What a great deal, Nintendo! Oh, but speaking of renting, that Animal Crossing Happy Home Designer DLC, you're not exactly renting that. You see, you can still access everything that you unlock to design your home with. You just can't play the base part of the expansion, which is the happy home designer part of the DLC. At over double the price of the DLC to tack on 20 year old ROMs and not fully own the DLC a year later, which again is the only buying option here to pay for the entire year. What a great deal. Now nah, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I have fun on this channel sarcastically mocking the worst takes I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever been this dumbfounded at Nintendo's decision. Then deciding to put basically a single player expansion to an online expansion. Here's your $50 controller too while you're at it, dumbass. The thing that gets me the most is it would be so easy for Nintendo to be able to do a $50 a month service. Hell, I would have argued it would have been a much better decision to put the base Animal Crossing and the Nintendo Switch Online expansion. You know, have games that sold incredibly well, are enjoyable online with the Nintendo Switch Online service backing up your Animal Crossing island to the cloud. Doesn't it make more sense that in the expansion you would include something that promotes the online features? You know, a game that sold like crazy, like... Mario Kart 8 that's improved with online, but no, they went with a single player DLC. There's just not enough value here, or you would have to be a fan of all three of these specific things in order for this price to kind of be justifiable. And that's a stretch. These Nintendo 64 games are over 20 years old, and the only appeal is this is the only way to play these games online or some of these games at all through official Nintendo platforms. And most people bought some of these games like three or four times, so uh, I think they can just get the ROM at this point. Good job, Nintendo. What a what a bargain. Or with all these cloud games that Nintendo has, why don't you start putting those licenses on the service? Hitman 3, Dying Light, Kingdom Hearts Cloud. Put them all on the service. That makes so much more sense. And then you can just stream it when you're online. 
you know, Nintendo Switch Online. Again, that's the most annoying thing is it's really not hard to think of a good way to justify $50 a year. But yeah, were they cheap on the content or made it so specific that most people are gonna feel like they're paying for more than what they actually use. That'll be it for this one. Like, dislike, subscribe, all that stuff. Talk to me, I'm lonely. Bye-bye.